Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be getting into another wig review. As y'all can see, this is a Bobby Boss wig. Her name is Rosewood. I will have all the information for this wig down in the description box below. Uh, but this is just what she's looking like straight off the pack. I wanted to show y'all the inside of the cap. So it's two combs, on the, one on each side, one in the back, and then you have the adjustable straps in the end. That is what the lace is looking like. Um, so right here, I was just kind of, you know, running my fingers through it, playing around with it just a little bit. And I wanted y'all to see how she looked on like potentially a head or whatever. But keep in mind, notice how much of a shine this wig has. Now, y'all know I do the synthetic wigs or whatever, but this one had quite a bit of a shine to it. But we will fix that on uh, later on in the video. Um, then I just wanted to show y'all a close-up of the hairline. This is what it's looking like. Not the best hairline that I've worked with. It's not pre-plucked or anything like that. Um, so this did give me a little bit of a struggle. But I was just showing y'all um, how what it looked like with the lace on and then once I cut it. From here, I was just kind of showing y'all what color the lace was before I added foundation to it now that lace already had a tint to it but I still felt like it didn't completely match my skin tone so I still went in with foundation y'all this wig was tired it was time for her to go she got her use out of her um and I'll leave the information for that wig down below as well if y'all want to know um but yeah I already had a wig cap on so from here I'm just going to um throw on this wig I do want to note, like, once I put the wig on, mind y'all, I didn't uh, readjust the straps. How y'all seen is how I left it. And once I put it on, the wig was very tight. So I don't know if this wig would potentially be big head friendly. You could potentially, like I said, um, readjust the straps or whatever and see. But I have a small head. And for me, the wig was tight. So this is what she's looking like, freshly put on, no adjustments, no customization, no none of that. How are y'all feeling her so far? Because I don't know, I was kind of iffy about it. So um, right here, and I think I told y'all before, I do kind of have like a lower hairline, so I do have to usually go in and shave off my baby hairs. Then from here, I didn't spray my entire wig down because the wig was tight enough, I didn't need to. So I just ended up spraying down the side tab so they would uh, stay down. But y'all, this wig really gave me a lot of trouble. It was a struggle and it really gave me a run for my money because I don't know, I feel like I had to somewhat do a lot to try to get this wig to even look somewhat natural, even though that's not a natural color, but I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm still trying to see how I feel about it. But yeah, I just did about two or three layers of the spray and then um, blow dried it down. Y'all, I did attempt <laughs> to do some baby hairs um, on this wig, but I ended up not leaving them in because this wig, I don't know if y'all can tell, the hairline is super bulky. And I couldn't even try to pluck it because of how close the tracks in the wig um, were to the lace, to where the hairline would be. So that's why right here you see me trying to somewhat make baby hairs out of baby hairs that aren't there because if i would have did that you really would have seen the tracks and i didn't want that but like i said this was a failed attempt i do not end up leaving the baby hairs in there so we just gonna keep it pushing Y'all, this hair, I don't know how long the hair is. Like I said, I'll leave the information in the description box. But when I tell y'all, this hair was getting so tangled and so nappy, it was just crazy. But at this point, I'm just sectioning off my hair and I'm going to go through with my um, red weave and wig flat iron because this particular brand, they do not tell you how much heat to put on this wig. I know most synthetic wigs, they say you can go up to about 400 but this one did not specify. So I just, like I said, just use my weave and wig flat iron. That one is temperature controlled. So you can use it on all of that type of hair. So 
I wanted more curls than what the wig already had. So I just kind of went in and um, did like some spiral curls or whatever. And then you'll see me kind of like um, brushing them through and combing them out. So I did end up taking that band off and as y'all can see, the baby hairs are looking a little janky. They looking a little wax. So I, like I said, I did not end up leaving those there. It was a failed attempt with, you know, I was working with what I was given and it wasn't given. So this is how it ended up looking the first day. I did it up going to work like this or whatever, but right here, y'all will see it is the next day. I am fresh from the gym. The baby hairs are no longer there. Y'all, I was so over that shine in the wig. I just, I couldn't do it. It looked too shiny to me. So what I ended up doing was going to get some dry shampoo just to kind of tone down um, the shine. Usually I don't have to do that, but this one, I just feel like it was just too much. Y'all, I struggled with this wig to say the least. <laughs> and as I'm spraying this, y'all are gonna see my reaction. I, while I was doing this, did not realize that spray was coming out white. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is all black hair, it's white. But I ended up, you know, like brushing it through, combing it out or whatever, so it didn't look too bad. Um, but then I just took the dry shampoo and sprayed through the rest of my hair just so we can somewhat try to salvage this wig y'all but I don't know I just I wasn't feeling her and it ain't even a color because y'all know I play in color but just this brand I just I wasn't feeling it and so I could spill a little bit more tea since this is the next day y'all that hair has so much shedding so much shedding it was super tangled the hairline is bulky the tracks are super close to the lace y'all I just I wasn't feeling this wig at all. I haven't worn Bobby Boss in a long time. And now I'm remembering why I don't wear this brand. Y'all let me know if I'm being overly dramatic or what, because I know it's the Virgo energy, but let me know. Let me know if y'all think this wig was cute, what y'all would have done different, if y'all think I could pull it off, but I don't know. This wig was just giving me all types of problems. Um, And then right here, I just took a little bit of my foundation to put it on the part because I just felt like that part was super skinny. It didn't look natural. And I'm like, you can't pluck the part because like I said, then you're gonna see the tracks. So I figured, you know what? Why not put some foundational concealer right here and then that'll somewhat help it. I don't know y'all but overall i i'm still wearing a wig but honestly i don't really care for it i would not recommend this brand i would not recommend this wig like i said y'all give me y'all thoughts on it down below in the comments but i don't know i just feel like this wig was awful and i've had way 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 better synthetic wigs that look more natural i don't know but I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so y'all never miss when I post another video. And until the next video, y'all. Bye.